What up, internet? Hey there, camera! Hello, friends. And welcome to Bumbling Tourist. Today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, our trip to Taiwan. Let's wrap it all up. You gonna wrap? Yo, yo, yo. Hmm. We're gonna talk about a few of the highlights and things about our trip to Taiwan. What was your favorite food you had in Taiwan? This is a very easy answer. Um, the hot pot was spectacular. We had that in Tainan. Yeah, that was amazing. I really enjoyed stinky tofu. I love fermented things and spicy mm. and it was delicious and I love tofu. I loved how many vegetarian things you can find at night markets, which normally when you think of night markets in Asia, it's like grilled meats and stuff like that. But Taiwan is really good for vegetarians. Fruits. Yeah, grilled mushrooms were good. Oh, and that egg, the tea egg. What was your favorite city out of all the cities we visited? Kaohsiung. Yeah, me too. Kaohsiung, well, we went there right after we had been in the north and it was kind of cold and rainy. So to suddenly be in the heat and melting was delightful. Everything about Kaohsiung is amazing. We really liked the- Pure Tea Art Center. Lotus Lake. And we went to Fo Guan Shan Temple and we went to the little island. It's a great city. Yeah. Do not miss it. What was your favorite day trip? Lotus Lake really stands out to me. The uh, dragon, tiger, pagodas. Everything along the lake was, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was neat how you could spend a whole day there and kind of like work your way around the lake and see all these sites. Stop for a beer along the way. Yeah, I think that's probably my favorite day trip as well. I really liked Beto as well. Uh, what was your favorite part of your time in Taipei? Probably the hot springs, but nightlife in general was kind of neat. Not that we do a lot of nightlifey things, but I mean, just seeing like, you know, the city lit up and stuff. I really enjoyed climbing Elephant Mountain. In case you haven't seen that video, uh, there's a really good view of Taipei 101. I liked rapping and I liked the beers. I really like where we stayed too, getting to just sit on the balcony and enjoy a beer and overlook the city. Even though where we stayed was outside of the city center, that kind of made it the best. What was your favorite part of Tainan? I found it less welcoming to uh, foot traffic. Mm -hmm. Not impossible, but just slightly less ideal for strolling about in yeah, the other cities. We don't really, we don't like taking cabs. We like to walk as much as possible. My favorite part, rather than dwelling on the negatives, <laughs> the tree fort. Anything tree fort. That was really cool. I liked tree how forts. everywhere we went, like the, the fort, and uh, that other fort, <laughs> you could get what we now call fort beer which you really need because a lot of the main attractions in Tainan are like super full of tourists. So to be able to kind unwind. of run off to the side and have a beer and unwind from being way too up close and personal with other people was great. Uh, we also really liked the cultural center, Blueprint Cultural Creative Park, or whatever it's called. Blueprint Cultural and Creative Park. There you go. What was your favorite part of Jufen? Pretty much the Jufen as a whole. Yeah. I, I don't even know how to split it up into the, the entire experience is delightful. Just going up and down the steps and looking at all the lanterns and the cool looking shops and things. Uh. My favorite moment was probably once a lot of the tourists started to leave because we stayed in Jifen, they were filming some kind of a drama in the main alleyway that leads down the hill. And we sat up on a balcony and had a beer overlooking like this little square filled with lanterns. And I also liked when we climbed up the hill and found a temple where we could explore basically by ourselves. Uh, what was your favorite part of Kaohsiung? Lotus Lake. My favorite part of Kaohsiung and arguably of the entire trip was we took a ferry over to Sijin Island or something like that. Sounds right. And uh, we went through the Star Tunnel and came out the other side and found a spot on the beach to have pumpkin beers and watch the boats go by in the sunset. And that was just like exactly what I needed in that moment. I wanted to talk a little bit about the prices of stuff in Taiwan. For Canadians, I think it's easiest just to remember that one Canadian dollar equals 25 Taiwanese dollars. So if something's 100 Taiwanese dollars, then it would be about $4 Canadian. The price of things in general, I mean, it's not very expensive country. It's not cheap either. The price of beer we found was pretty cheap, which is what we like to measure the, the countries on. The pr price of beer was good. The price of things like train transportation from the north to the south is fairly expensive, probably close to a hundred bucks if you buy at full price. That was the biggest expense, I think. 
food wasn't really ridiculous at all, price-wise. So. Yeah, I think the biggest expense is definitely going to be any high-speed rail you take. The travel is super um, efficient, though. Mm -hmm. And another piece of advice, make sure you get the little pass card thing. Easy cards? I yeah, easy cards. Those are amazing. You actually save money if you use them on transport. You don't have to worry about having cash. Yeah. Super convenient. Everything takes them. Like you can use them as vending machines, buses, metro. Everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. And it also worked in Taipei and all the way down at Kaohsiung, so. And you can get One Piece characters on. And you can get Hello Kitty characters too. Yeah. Uh, what time of year do we go? For Halloween. So yeah, it was- End of October. Late, late October, beginning of November. The weather was pretty nice. Uh, we normally travel in either February or October. It's kind of shoulder season and it's when we can get time off work. And October seems to be great. It's not like the heat, the really hot heat of summer, but it's still warm. We did encounter some rain in Jufen, but outside yeah. of that, the weather was mostly on our side. And in Kaohsiung, it was hot. It was like 40 degrees when we were at Lotus Lake. Yeah, it's nice and warm. That's how we like it. We like it hot. The street food uh, scene in Taiwan is big. You can't go to Taiwan and not go to East Nighttime Street Food Market. There are a lot of them in Kaohsiung. We went to at least two. You cannot experience Taiwan without going to one of those. Eating tasty stuff out of a clam shell thing. Mm -hmm. uh, of course you have to have a beer on a plastic stool, right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, transportation in Taiwan is like state-of-the-art bordering on Japan levels of efficiency. We had no problem whatsoever navigating our way from the top of the country to the bottom of the country. There was a few moments where you were like worried you did something wrong, but every time you didn't. I don't recall making a single misstep transportation-wise. Transportation is always 100% on time. Yeah, it seemed very Japanese in terms of efficiency. Clean, metro. 20 stars. We basically took every single form of transportation on this trip. Gondola, we took a boat, we took a bus, we took a different type of bus, we took a local train, we took a high-speed train. No hot air balloon. No catapult. No jet ski. So overall, what was the highlight of the trip for you? Probably going back to Lotus Lake again. That really stands out to me as, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed Lotus Lake. And again, going back to Kaohsiung as well, um, being on that island, seeing the sunset and having pumpkin beer on a beach was really great. Wandering around all of the art in Kaohsiung at the Pier 2 Art Center. It's all kind of in the same area. In general, I really, really love Taiwan. It's this cool kind of mixture of super efficient and clean. Reminds me a little bit of Japan in terms of like all the cute characters and gachapon and things you can get. And also that like very distinctly Southeast Asian type street market vibe feel. I agree with that assessment. So we definitely recommend you should go to Taiwan, add it to your list. Yeah. Do it once you can. It's a must see. Absolutely. So I hope you like this series. Uh, it's sad to wrap it up, but this is the end. And on to fun. our next series. We'll see you in a couple weeks. So please like and subscribe mm -hmm. and leave comments as well. I, we're curious to know, did we miss anything that uh, really defines a Taiwan vacation? And also, we, maybe you want to guess where we go to next. Myanmar. Shh. <laughs> did you guess right? <laughs> you didn't give him time to guess. I'm editing that part out. Uh, yeah. Anyway, take luck, camera, and uh, subscribe for more adventures and stuff, and uh, hopefully we'll see you back on the road sometime. Take luck! <laughs>